This, of course, I wrote about your grandfather. <clears throat> he pulled down his corduroys, his wrinkly dick with the marble on the tip, bounced down the stairs and rolled straight into the delicate crack between the, the crack between my butt. Once it had arrived, it nestled and burrowed. Oh, I threw my hair back in a screech of delight. My hair was red at the time, and so long it dangled down to tickle my heels. You're tickling me, I screamed. He said, that's not me, that's you. I said, how could it be me? He said, it's your hair, it's your long hair. I said, my hair long enough to tickle my heels. He said, yes, it is. I arched my back with delight. Yes, it is, I screamed. It's my own hair tickling my own feet. His marble dick won't ping pong between my butt cheeks as I arched in flavor and delight. It's beautiful. It's more beautiful than I remember, actually. You read a chapter. <clears throat> I came.